Welcome back to another vlog. It is your girl, Miss Z, and we are back with another video, okay? Guess whose birthday is coming up? Me, 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 me. Guess who's gonna be 35? Me, 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 okay? Um, I am doing the prep to get myself looking really, really good or whatever. I'm on my way to get my lashes done. It is a Friday, and I'm just like right in the middle of, of the day, and I was just like, okay, well, yes, if this is the only day I can get it done, then this is the only day that I can get it done. Um, I have nails on Wednesday, hair on Sunday, before that Wednesday. So, you know, just trying to get all the things together or whatever. And I, I swear it's like $1,000 just to get yourself together before you go on the three, dollars $4,000 trip. Like, really? I didn't spend... I hate this place because I can never remember which where the turn is at. I didn't spend quite a bit already. You know what I'm saying? Already. So, um you know this gonna be about a a thousand you feel me so you know not a thousand well yeah almost hold on one second let me park oh let me wrap that thing around there just like that there baby am i straight absolutely not i'm crooked as hell crooked Crooked, honey. Crooked, crooked, crooked letter I. Crooked letter I, honey. She's doing what she can. She does what she can. Oh, shoot. I didn't even stop the camera. So, yeah. That's what we're getting done. Pick it up your lashes, then. Okay, honey. I'm a little bit lashes. They're here, but they're baby. They don't curl with them, but they still exist. <laughs> I know my phone that's how much of a creator i am but yeah your girl's back in business let me get on this freeway real quick it's giving traffic jam we don't have no choice but to merge child somebody gotta let us in let us in honey let us in man oh man this traffic is thick this is not the right time of day to be trying to get home baby listen <laughs> i love older black women i just came from um the um beauty supply and this lady she waving me down from the window and i'm like what didn't happen child i just got in the car and i roll my window down and she's like i first of all i love that money green she said i love that green that you of your car she was like and i love your hair I said thank you and I said you know I gotta have a wig that I could take off and throw back on she was like you wear a wig she was like hold on let me get out the truck the lady got out the truck came to my window to talk to me and was like that's a wig and I was 
like, yeah, it is. I said, you from here? She said, yeah, yeah honey. She was like, and your hair, thank you. I'm going to throw it on and I'm going to take it off. It definitely is not mine. So we got the hair. Make a thumbnail. I haven't even posted the car video yet, y'all. By the time you watch this, y'all would have seen it. But y'all, I got that car four months ago, almost five months ago. And didn't post nothing about it. Didn't put it on social media, TikTok, nothing. TikTok's been sitting in the drafts. Um, yeah, I need to get back on track, but I'm not even gonna lie, I've been a little bit defeated about this whole YouTube thing. So sometimes I can hype myself up, and then other times I'm just like, girl, why don't you quit? Like, you've been doing it for three years, and I told myself starting this year I was gonna be consistent for six months straight, and it's been over six months. I'm getting subscribers, but not at the level that like I would like for you know the work and stuff that it takes to put it together, but I'm gonna keep going until I know I really, 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 really need to stop. And then we'll see what happens. test it is a monday <clears throat> i travel on thursday i have been having something going on with my throat like allergy wise like mucusy which i don't know what that is but i'm about to get that fixed as y'all see i got my hair braided successfully um i can't do a middle part but i can do a side part and that is oh, okay with me they're really long they go down to like the top of my butt and yeah it rained yesterday or the night before so it's real like muggy out here and i don't like that let me switch the camera more packages i'm waiting for ivy park and i'm waiting for something from um uh sheen i think or pretty little thing i don't know why only one thing came and the other one didn't something came that i don't even remember ordering so i was like that was kind of strange and it came in like two days and the rest of the package is just not here yet so i'm hopefully hoping today tomorrow or wednesday at the latest i know my ivy park will be here by wednesday no later than 4 30 p.m that's being delivered so i'll just throw that in the luggage real quick i am gonna check a bag i wasn't going to but i'm gonna be on for a week so i'm checking a bag i need all the stuff i can get i have a 15 stop over in miami so i'll be excited to show y'all that and yeah i mean i don't plan to do much but to you know put on something cute go down to the bar and make googly eyes at somebody and you know go from there check out my stash whatever hurts oh that was terrible terrible let me disinfect my hands okay thank you you too get me out of here y'all look my mama got me 150 dollars to amazon she came to see me before i leave and then she even did this for me she decorated birthday vibe don't look at my dirty house birthday vibes with the card here i love this i cannot believe i'm 35 or about well i'm 35 i'm 35 in three days so i'm 35 that's real 35 years ago oh my she was at the hospital. Oh, yes. She went a week early, but they sent her home. <laughs> but she was going back almost every day, like, I need to have this baby. I was overdue, about two weeks overdue, I'm child. So <laughs> then they said, okay, you come on the 29th. Uh -huh. I went in on the 29th, and that was my birthday. Here I come out at 3.59 p.m., somewhere around there. Exactly that. And the first thing she saw was a nose. That's it. And then my uncle, Richard, may he rest in peace, was calling on the phone about yes. two minutes later. Yes, he was. Where was my daddy at? <laughs> driving a cab <laughs> I've heard this story so much my mama said go on and drive the cab now you know you gotta be irritated when you like get, get away from me just go drive the cab go make some money <laughs> she coming don't, don't worry about it don't worry about it and my uncle was the first person to call Yes, he and here I am 1987 baby honey 
Yes, oh, we love it. <laughs> hey y'all, hey, it is a couple of days until my break day. I'm trying to successfully lay down these edges with, you know, some edge control and also a little bit of hairspray because they just don't pay attention. They don't do what they need to do. And by the time the morning comes, they be back up and talking like, hey, how you doing? So yeah, I'm excited. I'm on my way to get my nails done per usual. But this time I was thinking about doing something colorful because, you know, we're going to the island of St. Lucia. But then I was thinking to myself like, no, I think I want French tip rhinestone design, like something with crystals. So I hope she can pull it out. And then also I hope they stay on, but I hope she has something good enough to hold them down. Like, I don't want my nails lifting. I don't want none of that. Like, um, I'm not, no, not lifting. I don't have lifting issues with her. Cause honestly I've had this set since like March, probably April. And we just keep filling and they do really, 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 really good. So that's not a concern. But my rhinestones, I want my rhinestones to stay on. Like I bought them for a reason. So I don't want them falling off. So I'm heading to her house now. Well, first I'm headed to get coffee. Then I'm heading to her house. Even though my birthday is near, I don't have, I don't get my free coffee yet. I don't get my free coffee, I think, until the day of my birthday. Or do they let you get it like two or three days before? Because I don't know if they have Starbucks in St. Lucia. And that's where I'll be. I know what I want, but I know what I need. Okay. Let's go get our nails done. Made it to the nail tag. Made it to meet this. I'm getting my nails done. Birthday nails are in full effect. So much stuff that you have to do. Like, you be spending a thousand dollars before you even get on the plane. Just with the beauty, the hair, the nails, the lashes, and then a couple little clothes you buy. I know I'm at a good at least eight hundred dollars by this point. Like a lot, but you gotta be cute. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be cute. How can I help you? <laughs> my birthday is Friday. I'll be 35. Look, y'all. It's coming along so good. Gold chrome. I was just telling her I was going to do colorful, but I changed my mind. I really love this. And I'm sorry, y'all, for being the terrible vlogger. I never let y'all see me when I get my nails done. I just come out and be like, yeah, my nails are done. Maybe that's why my subscribers don't really up with me. Y'all be wanting to see everything. Ombre gold chrome. So I can match my dress. The fact that I'm at Target and I don't even need nothing. I just got to spend money. Oh, did I show you all the final results? Yeah, I think I did. Don't need nothing. But um, yeah, I wanted to go a little bit more blingy. I wanted at least like something like right here in the middle of the nail, like something blingy and like eye catching. But she said she didn't have anything. And um, I don't know. She might have been in a rush. She had a, she said she had a full day. So I feel like I love the gold. I love the gold ombre, but I feel like I could be doing more. And your girl smooth spent a smooth 160. I'll try to show you everything that I got once I get back to the house. But yeah, I was just went in there and spent like a grip. And then Auntie Tad had a sale. All of her stuff was on clearance. So I grabbed all of her stuff on clearance. Got a couple of bathing suits that were on clearance. And you know, a couple more outfits. I just want to make sure I'm 1000% prepared, you know? And that I feel good and I look good and it's my 35th like I don't care if I spend five thousand dollars like I'm going to make sure my 35th is what I want it to be so we got everything done all the beauty stuff done you know what I'm saying I did my own cootie cat because I'm still scared to go and get a um a wax but you know one day you know the nair the nair does fine just got to be careful with the nair but yeah um I'm excited. It's 1.21 p.m. My flight leaves at 12.50. It boards at 12.15, actually. And I'm in first class. <laughs> I got first class, so um, I'm glad I upgraded my flight. It was only $180 more. Of course I will. Now, on the way back, I don't know what it's going to be like that. I don't know if it's going to be like that. So I might just enjoy it on the way there since I have a 10-hour situation. I have a little two-hour whatever layover in Charlotte. So I just want to make sure that I'm as comfortable as possible because technically I'm going to try to sleep. I don't know if I will, but I'm not trying to be up no 24 hours, child. Because I know I'm going to be dog tired when I get there and I'm going to need a nap or something. So hopefully I can get on the plane, people don't talk to me, people don't get in my business, and I can sleep. That's the goal. So let me get back. Oh, I got to stop by my storage. There's some pink sandals that I know I had when I went to Hawaii. So I really want to go to my storage and see if I, the pink sandals are in there. I feel like I looked and I didn't see them, but I'm just going to double check. 
and then I am contemplating on if I want to check a bag and do a carry-on or roller carry-on so I don't have to like carry a whole bunch of stuff on me um I have not decided or made up my mind on that yet I mean being gone for eight days two pieces of luggage it can be a lot to have to carry but that's why they got wheels look at all that stuff look at all that stuff you know I'm leaving I stopped to get some gas so I don't want to come back to an empty tank $4.73 for premium, honey. It only says those suggested, recommended, recommended. It doesn't say you have to have it, but it does say premium for recommended. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do for my baby. Back at the storage again. I remember when I used to be able to put all of this in one house. Your girl got too much stuff going on with this little itty bitty one bedroom she living in. This is my space. I need more space, child, more space, more space, more space. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yep, I think all my sandals are right in this tub right here. This tub keep falling down, child. Put it back up there and it fell down again. Well, 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 well. Please don't tell me I came all the way here and these pink shoes are in here. Cause I need my pink shoes. Ooh, there's some shoes in there. Maybe they're in there. Y'all see my little birthday vibe situation? Let me shut the door, child. I don't need y'all seeing all of my mess, honey. I don't need y'all seeing all of my mess, but yes, it's the birthday vibes. So, um, Ivy Park just came in. Utopia, 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 whatever, just came in, delivered today. I'm going to be able to take it for my birthday to St. Lucia, and I'm so excited. So let's go get the freaking package. I, I can't really record because I got to use my phone to have the code to be able to open the mailbox. My heart is racing. I need to have several seats. Let me let me get myself together and then go get the stuff. Oh, one opened up right above my head. Okay, Amazon. Oh. Yes. Okay, fit all up in here. Okay, okay. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm so excited. I just love this birthday vibes birthday vibes and it's, it's probably backwards to y'all maybe it'll be flipped i don't know but we got the ivy i already started opening it because i'm trying to be a content creator and i'm opening things on multiple sites you know in multiple ways i need two cameras i need a camera that goes this way and i need a camera that goes this way because this is for youtube uh, yeah this is for youtube and this is for um all other social media yeah, so I got three items, y'all. I got the bathing suit. Woo! I'm scared. And then I got the bra and I got the flowery um, uh, pants. So should I wear this to the airport or should I wear my I Heart Ivy Park to the airport? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Okay. Miss, here is your reminder. Get my package. Miss, here is your reminder. Get my package. That and that I did. And that I did. Now, my last Ivy, Heart, Ivy Park, I ordered in a 2X, but I ordered this in a 1X because I'm going down. I'm not trying to go back up. I'm not going to be a 2X forever. So even if it's kind of tight, I'm still going to wear it. Because who going to check me, boo? Period. Okay. We're gonna start with the most skimpiest thing. We're gonna go from naked to, to dressed. That's my suggestion, naked to dressed. Oh, it's a whole two piece in this thing. Oh, wow. I did not know, I did not know. I forgot I had even ordered this. I just came from Target and ordered a whole bunch more bathing suits that I probably didn't need. Child, 
I'm gonna wear this on the day of my birthday, honey. On the day of, on the day of. Okay. 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 Let me just open these so these will be ready. So I'm gonna have to come back to it. There's the bra, which feels small. This is a 1X. But I think my boobs can't get in there. They ain't gonna have no choice. You heard me? They ain't gonna have no choice but to get up in there. But to get up in there. They ain't gonna have no choice. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I know this will fit. Yes, ma'am. Okay, now we try on. I guess I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I should have did a 2X. This thing is tight. I ain't even got the pants on yet. Baby, it's suffocating me right here. Like, why would it do such a thing to me? Oh, my Lord. Cut my stomach off. Let's cut my stomach off. Okay, I don't like my underarm right here showing. I'll be back. All right, y'all. We got them both on. I'm cut right here. I'm suffocated right here. But the pants fit really, really good. They're perfect. I wouldn't want them any other way. I don't need them any bigger than what they are. So the pants are good. It's just I have a short torso, as I've always said. So there's no gap. Like most people have a gap. I don't have one. Let me step back a little bit further for y'all. Y'all won't be able to see my feet, but it's giving. It's giving Beyonce Utopia of Utopia. She wanted to release on July 21st and then release her album on July 29th for me. Like, why would you do all of this during Leo season, knowing that Leos don't know how to effing act? Because when that album drop on Friday, guess who's going to be turning up? Me. Her. She. But yeah, y'all, I like it. If I lift it up like this, I can, but that's when it cuts off more and it just makes me a little bit of a pudge. So I probably will wear it in some instances, like not as tight in the shoulder part. Well, let me try that, see if it'll lift me up naturally. Cause that's part of my issue. Oh, hair getting stuck. Okay, boobs are up and then pull this down. It's like a band, but it's not a band. So the material folds if it's too tight and the like blue cloth underneath starts to show. But honestly and truly, she looks good. I wish I had some colorful shoes or something that goes with this that matches like Ivy or whatever, but I don't. Um, I'll be wearing black Nikes with this when I do wear it. Um, I have a black top that goes on top of this, but now I'm wishing I had something that was um, white. I wish I had a white cover-up. I have a black cover-up that I'm gonna wear tonight on the way to the airport, so. Let's try on this bathing suit, but let me go on the internet first because I have to figure out how it's supposed to be worn because apparently I bought it and didn't know that it wasn't connected, so I gotta figure out how to get the piece of the puzzle together. After the diagram, Everything it took me to get up in this. I don't know. But y'all, here's the child. Let me see if I can lower the camera a little bit more. I'm glad I got it in the 2X, because had I not, I don't know if I would have been able to get up in it. Thing activated. But I like it. It's not a lot of boob support. You know, your boobs are in it, but it's not meant to, like, really lift you up. But, yeah, I feel like I lose 10 pounds. This is too big in two seconds. Side stomach will be activated. It'll be out. So I didn't dance myself into a headache, child. Feeling good though about what I've packed because I feel like I have everything. Normally I forget stuff, but I have my ring light, I'm taking my tripod. I have an automatic camera to take pictures. I have food that I ordered from DoorDash. And I need to take my trash out tonight because I don't want my house stinking while I'm gone. I, I'm sorry, y'all. The camera angle is terrible. 
I'm gonna have to spray my house too. Alexa, remind me at 9 p.m. to spray house. Okay, I'll remind you at 9 p.m. Um, yeah, I had some chips and I had a protein bar and I had that I couldn't eat it all. I'm absolutely positively full. And that'll probably be all I eat for today because that's just how I am on the fentramine. And speaking of the fentramine, I was moving around so much, child, started having pain. And when I get in pain, my heart starts to race. So I'm just taking it slow, walking around the house. I'm gonna go by Walmart and see if I can get these little vacuum sealed bags that I see people talking about. Because if you could see how much stuff I'm trying to take and how much stuff, how much room I have, you would laugh. You would laugh. Let me show you. Cause I'm transparent. That by itself is all bathing suits. Ivy Park, this is what I think I'm wearing tonight. The tab of the purse that was on sale. Also another tab of the purse that was on sale. Sheen bags to put my wet bathing suits in when I'm done. Or I may vacuum seal them. Some type of pajama situation to figure out what I'm going to wear when I go to bed at night. Slippers because we don't step on their floors. Um, outfits with jean shorts. Options for daytime. And here in line is the problem. This will probably... Be 50% shoes, 50% clothes. But I do want to be organized in the fact that I want my dresses to be in one thing, bathing suits to be in another thing, uh, nighttime stuff in another thing, so on and so forth. So I want to be as organized as possible. And as you can see, this is a plethora of stuff. We have regular clothes, nightgowns, and we have bathing suit cover-ups and stuff in here. Um, yeah, this this needs to be organized. So let me go to Walmart and get these cubes and see if I can do the vacuum seal option and see if I can make some more space. Um, Cause my bathing suits, I don't care if they're um, wrinkled, you know, that's something that you just throw on, you won't get in the water anyway. There we go, I'm back from Walmart and I have these little vacuum seal bags by Magic Bag. Um, it says that you don't need a vacuum, that all you have to do is just kind of fold it and let the air out and it'll kind of um, suction it up or whatever. But I have so much stuff and I want it to be flat. Like I said, I am worried about stuff getting wrinkled. So I did get the vacuum. The vacuum was $12. So you don't need it, which is good. So I'll probably use it to vacuum on the way there. On the way back, I'll probably just use the bags. May not use vacuum at all. Still probably use a couple of my packing tubes, cubes, and be on my way. I pretty much have everything. Agenda, agenda. Do the seal bags, get the stuff in the luggage, make sure I have all my shoes. After I do that, I'm gonna hold on to my carry-on and my personal item, make sure I have my passport, chargers, backup chargers, ring light, all that good stuff, and then I should be done. Echo, what time is it? It's 6.48, I wanted to leave by 10 o'clock because my flight board's at 12.15. So if I leave at 10, I should still be making good timing. 6.48. I want to be done with this by seven, by eight o'clock at the latest, because I want to try to lay down for a couple of hours, just chill, let my food digest. My heart has been racing all day. I've been on the move all day, so that's probably why. So I just want my heart to just kind of calm down, because I know once I get to the airport, I'm going to be moving around. I won't be rushing or anything like that, but I will be, I'll be moving around. So they say that the TSA pre-check lines are a little bit longer than they normally are, according to American Airlines. They didn't say which particular airport. I don't know if that message was for me because they know I'm in Arizona or if that was in general. I do have TSA pre-check. So, um, I normally don't have to wait that long. So hopefully there won't be an instance where there's any issues like there was last time. I'll make sure that TSA pre-check is printed on my boarding pass because we don't have time for it not to be. So I'm gonna go in here and check my settings right now. I'm gonna look at my boarding pass and make sure everything's straight and good to go. And when y'all see me again, I'll probably be at the airport. So y'all wish me luck on getting this done. I didn't hopped around, danced around in my Ivy Park. I've eaten, I'm hydrating now, trying to get as much water in as possible. Cause when I travel, I get dehydrated very easily. And yeah. I have eight hours of flying coming up. It's like four hours to Charlotte. Oops, four hours to Charlotte, three hour layover, two, three hour layover. 
and then like another three hours to St. Lucia. Let's see how it goes. These bags, you gotta get them. You don't need a pump. All you do is just seal it and then you push it and air releases through these little things here at the bottom. And literally I just sat on it, put my knees on it, squish, 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 and it lets all the air out and it gives you like a good vacuum seal. I gotta do it a little bit more because it's still a little air in here, but you just roll it up like this, push, air comes out, put your knees in it, air comes out, and you'll be good. So, excuse, excuse me, I'm about to continue to do this. I'm pretty much packed. I need to hop in the shower. I want to lay down for at least 45 minutes, but I feel like that time is slipping away from me, so I gotta go.